about them yeah. so I haven't really gotten into them too much but I mean from what I know like it cranks up just fine got some gas in it ride it around a what little bit. What ratio do you do? Uh, uh, I did like a I think it was a five to one. What? Five to one? I think so. It like I said it's been since like 2017 but the gas in it is pretty new like I put it in probably like couple months ago five to one did you have like a little measuring thing that you used yeah and no uh, i had a 125 four stroke trail bike yeah and then my little brother had a 110 trail bike but those got sold because way too small <laughs> choke because i've got two new spark plugs that are coming in yeah because i took the spark plug out and it was a little dusty on it wiped it off a little bit put it back in and it'd crank up just like that every time but i'd have to have the choke on so i was thinking it might be because i haven't ran it in so long yeah but it might be did you ride it with the choke on a little bit but then after like a minute or two i'd just turn it off and it'd ride fine as long as i'd given it gas okay Ooh. will it idle uh, with the choke off? Mm -hmm. Well, with the choke off? Yeah. I'm not too sure. As long as you're giving it a little bit of gas, it'll go fine. But just idling, it might not. I wasn't sure if it might be because of the carburetor or... Yeah, the carburetor might be... gummed up. Pretty, I think. got some stuff if we want to take it off. No, that's cool. You ever like change it, clean it, oil it? Uh-uh. Like I said, I don't know too much about them. My dad got it for me for Christmas one year yeah. after my little four-stroke trail bike. Rode it for a little bit, but then school started. Just did not have time for it anymore. Made sure to always like kind of wash it, try stamp. to keep it clean, but when it comes to working on them, I don't really know anything about it. Lowest would probably be 45. Because, I mean, it's basically brand new. Like there might be a little bit of stuff, like maybe an air filter or something. But yeah. See, I like this one because it fit me really nice for how tall I am, but it wasn't obnoxious too big. Bang roll, hold a hundo in the trap. They deliver like Domino. This is what we need. One of the first things we gotta do to this. That is public retirement, man. I wonder if like it was sitting so long because he said he hadn't ridden it much if it was sitting so long that it had a flat or maybe it has like a slow leak one of the two so this is unbelievable you guys know like i can i'm still in shock that i actually picked this thing up some of you guys may remember the rm125 that i had the rm125 had a little bit of issues going on we had it for a few months trying to figure it out could never figure it out so i sold that bike but now we picked up another freaking 125 man and i can't be more excited dude i am pumped on this By the way, for the ones that are still wondering, this is a 2017.
It hits pretty good. It's, it's pretty smooth power. Um, but one thing I do notice, like the idle has to be turned up. So it just wants to die. So you gotta keep it wrapped up. So the idle, this needs to be turned up, but that's nothing, so. Go ahead, son. Don't drop it, man. I promise you, if you drop it, we gonna have a problem. Man, you gotta ride it, you know it. You gotta yeah. get a first ride on it too. He probably dropped it. I see the lever's bent, but we gonna get this thing a little, a little bad and get her all extra clean, you feel me? Sure. How many of you guys out there actually have a 125 yourself? Whether it's a KTM, um, a Husky, a RM, even the older bikes like the CRs, that's what I'm trying to say, or maybe a YZ. <laughs> even if you guys have like someone out there might have an older KX 125 that's completely redone, that's pretty dope. I've never owned a, you know, a YZ 125 and really experienced one, so now it's the time. Should be pretty lit, man. You guys see, it still has the freaking factory stickers on it, even up here. So, I mean, looking at the radiator, dude, crisp, clean. It looks like no dirt has ever gotten in there. Whoa, dude, don't drop the bike. What are you doing? One thing that I'm going to do for sure, because I'm just not sure on how he was doing it, but I have to change the gas like immediately because he said he ran a five to one ratio. And I mean, I mean, I'm not, you know, saying anything in a bad way, but like, that's not what we run in these bikes. But I mean, that's all good, man. The bike is fine. It doesn't actually seem like... Yeah, there's not even that much gas in there, so damn, we might not even have to do too much for that. We gonna get YZ part two? <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, don't. You guys, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a uh, long time ago when I was younger, I had my YZ85 and I let this man ride it for the first time up and down the street. And let's just basically say things went you know yeah things went south. <laughs> took a front, took a turn for the worst. But uh yeah, man, that's hey, let me see the scar from that. Where's that? Oh, right here? It was worse, man. Your ass was crying and all, running the house. I mean, I'm going to bleed out. I'm going to die. <laughs> Dude was like, he was like, and you jacked up your toe, didn't you? Or something like that? Something like that. You got a missing toe. <laughs> yeah, he only has nine toes. Three toes. Oh, three? Yeah. Damn, you crazy with it. You like feet, don't you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm crazy? I've done all this before. Truck with two powder bags and a ball made phrase. I'm in the game plus one message. Cause you know why V gotta get 